Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is the parables of the Bible in your daily Bible class. Listen to what it says in Matthew chapter 13. We're going to be looking at two portions of scriptures. Now, it has to do with the weeds among the good plants. Now, in many cases, Jesus would tell a parable, and then later on would be asked, Can you please explain the parable? And this is what's happening. So Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. And while everyone was sleeping, the enemy came and sowed seeds among the wheat and went away. And when the wheat sprouted and formed heads and the weeds also appeared, the owner's servant came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where did the weeds come from? The enemy did this, he replied. The servant said, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you're pulling up the weeds, you may root up the wheat with them. No, let them grow together until the harvest. And at that time, he says, Tell the harvesters, first collect up the weeds and burn them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it to my barn. So, what was going on was Jesus told them this wonderful, wonderful parable. But then what happens is, later on it says, Then he left the crowd and went into the house. And disciples came to him and said, Can you please explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field? He answered, The one who sowed the good seed is the Son of Man, and the field is the world. And the good seed stands for the sons of the kingdom, and the weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy sows who sows them is the devil. He said, the harvest is at the end of the age, and the harvesters are the angels. As the weeds are pulled up and burned into the fire, so will be the end of the age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will weed out his kingdom, everything that causes sin and all who do evil, and they will be thrown into the fiery furnace, and there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let him hear. So you have this wonderful parable about, first of all, the first part, of course, is a man who sows seed into his, into his field, and it comes up, and it's looking pretty good. But then all of a sudden, the enemy sows weeds into there. His servants come to him and say, what are we going to do about this? Should we bring up the weeds right now? He says, no, 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 no. He says, when harvest time comes, he says, gather the weeds first, put them in a pile, and burn them up, and then bring the uh, seed into the barn. And then, of course, when Jesus explains it, he says, the good seed is the Son of Man, the field is the world, and the good seed stands for the sons of the kingdom. He says the weeds are the sons of the evil one, which is the devil. He says there's a harvest coming. And the harvest is at the end of the age. And he says, the weeds, the sons of evil, those who are following their father, uh, Satan, will be burned in fire at the end of the age. And then he says, and it is all going to happen because of, of what has been also prophesied. You see, when we were doing the study on the book of Revelation, in Revelation chapter 20, we saw the great white throne judgment. And those who have been placed into that holding place called hell will be brought before the great white throne judgment and they will be judged according to what they are done. And then they will be placed in the lake of fire where he says there will be uh, um, weeping and gnashing of teeth. He says, but then on that same moment, he says, you who already know the Lord, you are going to have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life at that great white throne judgment also as well. Anyone whose name is not written in the Lamb Book of Life is going to be placed into that place of judgment. But the marvelous thing is, if your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you are going to shine as the righteous in the kingdom of his Father. That's what he's saying here. There is a judgment coming. Make sure that you're on the right side. Make sure that you're a servant of the living God. Make sure that you're a follower of Jesus Christ. Jesus told this parable as certain as the book of Revelation says that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Choose today whether or not you're going to be wheat or weeds. Choose today whether you're going to follow the Son of Man or you're going to 
follow Satan. Either case, there are going to be consequences to your decision and to your actions. My exhortation to you is, be one of those individuals who shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He who has an ear, let them hear. That's what this parable is talking about today. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.